Welcome back to After Party, everyone. My name is Joe Lotto, and today we're gonna kick some butt for sure, dude. So if you're not subscribed to the channel already, just do me a favor and subscribe. And without further delay, let's get started in today's video. Oh, it can rain in hell? Huh. But I thought the rain would hurt. Huh. What? Rain is one of the few things that are exactly the same in both heaven and hell, since an equal amount of people both love and hate it, like subtitles in movies or driving. But anyways, welcome to your new review. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Sure. You know, someone must have slandered poor Roberto. For one morning, without having done anything wrong, he was dead and in hell. And you also know, it is rare for people to be asked, I do not care, la 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 la, you can't make me watch a stupid fucking thing. I can't hear you, la 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 la. Hey, I'm fulfilling my duties if you can hear me or not, Lola. It only matters if you're in the room. La. Anyways, I can't believe you threw his case. You complete monsters! And all to get into Apollyon's good graces. Apollyon, she wouldn't have helped us if we didn't do what she said. Maybe she would have helped you anyway. Maybe she would have respected you. Maybe you're too dumb to realize you have to be able to beat the damn game even if you do the wrong thing. But you just sent an innocent man to an eternity of torment because you wanted out of that same terrible fate. Not cool, dude. And the new number one recollection on this completely made up list is. Oh, oh shoot, how'd this one get in here? It looks like a picture of Lola not fulfilling her lifelong goal of becoming a powerful leader of industry. Ah, uh, tisk tisk. What a shame, really. Oh my god, no. How, how did you find these clearly divine images? What do you mean? I didn't do this. It must have been. Uh, whatever, moving on. Ugh. Okay, let's just motor through these quick facts of the night so far. You took a poor old witch's dress so you can sneak into a house of devilry. Arnold Potter graduated with a master's in consumer psychology. He will go on to design intentionally confusing grocery stores before dying of a stroke inside one of his own shops. Currently, 8% of people enjoy chewing ice, only 15% of which realize it is a sign of behavioral disorder. Just for, you know, my own sanity, may I ask how much longer? There's just, I think there's just like 28 more. Wormhorn. Remember when Lola went on top in the costume? Oh, everyone saw that coming, right? I mean, look at her. <laughs> she made Milo be the legs. Wormhorn? What? I'm trying my best. I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. You're not exactly giving me snuff films and spy movies here. Let us go. No, you know what? Why should I? Tell me, why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just, I just burn time till there's nothing left? Uh, cause it's more fun to let us out and watch us try and fail than sitting in this dark room on your first night in existence. I guess that's hard to argue. Ugh, whatever, just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. I know which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. Think about it. Bye. Now this place oh, so looks you're gonna epic. You dancing with him, huh? That guy was all over you. Okay, that guy didn't even have a head, so he, like, barely counts, biologically speaking. This place looks like a real meat market. Two referias for two lovebirds. Oh, we're not lovers. I treat her more like a mannequin. I built it to me. And he looks like my dad, so I get to work out my more wholesome fantasies. Sounds good, kids. Have fun. Hey, kids, what'll it be? A lot of humans in cages okay. here. Asmodeus, seriously, I'll take whatever uppers you got. <laughs> Baleo. We know you have a stash of Pujari teeth, Al. You, well, you designed the lava pit the cartel burns in. Now, you've been having a rough time of it recently. We know, but... <laughs> I'm on leave, so it's not my job anymore. Look up staycation. That's, that's what it... You'll see a picture of me. This is it. Hey, that's a big guy. The monarch, Asmodeus. Let's follow him. Make, uh, make friends with him, not them. On leave? What are you, fucking Swedish? I need drugs! My husband 
doesn't know he can't fix the toaster. Then I need to get high enough to pretend he can. Get a divorce then. Or a drink. That's where I'm going. Well, the track makes a great term gate ship. You should have one. Hey, y'all, we're here at Club Skull, and we're going to make sure to keep it bumping all night. I said all night long. Yeah. What will it be? And remember, literally acid. Is ongoing. It's, uh, so sign up whatever, with me, Murmur, literally right here acid? At the it's more metaphorical. But also, yeah. I'm not allowed to leave. I don't even have legs, really. So feel free to come by anytime. Hey, Uncle Al. How's the vacation been? Great, great. I've been, you know, I hate the phrase, taking a little me time. But I guess it's better than saying I've been just dicking around, missing the life I used to have. Cool, cool. What do you want to drink? Uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, know how to make a Marburg sour? Hey, Uncle Al. It's really nice to meet you, man. I love the... You got a great... You got a great vibe. I really prefer it to the, uh, hornets in my tea version of hell we've grown accustomed to. <laughs> Thanks. I like me, too. I mean, I should. I have to live with myself. Hey, Uncle Al, the alligator, the ass wagon. You got like 10 hours? I'm taking a bath on a timeshare. I need to vent at someone taller than me. Uh, maybe. Just don't get too pissed if I stop you after 10 minutes. Hey, brother man, have a seat. Rap with us. Name's Milo. It's yours. Zipar, I eat people who write unwarranted bad reviews for local businesses. I feel like I'm out of my own state. Uh, Al, but first off, I'm Lola, he's Milo, and we're doing the whole challenge Satan to a drinking contest to escape hell thing, and we really yeah, need... Yeah, 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 you can stop right there. Because you don't really need anything now, do you? Because you're in hell. Which means you're dead. And you're kind of a fast talker, and fast talkers spread anxiety like termites. So do me a favor and slow boat it a bit. Yeah, get out of the fucking carpool lane. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just hang it up. Put your feet up. No problem, I won't go out. I, will, uh, we, will be as cool as a cucumber in the North Pole in a snow globe. In a snow globe? Now you've gone too far. No, wait, no. We, the only reason we're here is to get... Yeah, Morningstar already texted me, Squirt. I know you want my seal for the contest. Oh. Well, the trick. Two shots of permanent vacation. You want to, you want to have a drink off right now? Cause I was kind of hoping you'd just make us like clean your gutters or something. Fractio Panis. We're breaking bread, Lola. Come on, do a shot with me. Let's get to know each other a little. Get Fuck those yeah. wrinkles off your face. We don't need therapy, Mr. Asmodeus. We just need you to stamp our permission slips. Uh, I disagree. Let's agree to disagree. I really insist. And I sincerely desist. Come on, Lola. Remember when I dared you to drink a teaspoon of bleach? What happened then? I threw up for eight hours. See, so... My exact point. Thank you. You've already... That's the worst of it. Like, fine, fine. I'll take the stupid shot if you really fucking think. It's so important. Let go. Drink, Milo. Drink. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get our shots on. Hey, we yeah, turn up the music. Mm. When a man drinks, mm. he becomes mm. rich. Mm. He wins lawsuits, and he is happy to help his friends. Let's focus on the last part. Oh, shit, I feel... This is weird. Is this what lazy people feel like? Because this is awesome. That's like I'm walking on a shag carpet in my bare feet, but I'm not. Hey, Al, some folks wanted to know if you can make the death day announcements. Yeah, I'll be the mall Easter Bunny. Hey, kids, why don't you two tag along? Won't take long. Not that many people here died this month. Hey, you just lead the way, bro. You walk, we'll roll. Yeah, chill out, Milo. Fucking Christ, you'll burn calories. See your friends on holiday time. You should set your watch there, too. You're trying to outdrink Satan, right? Well, you can dream a dream in time gone by. That shit ain't happening. Why not? Because trying to outdrink a guy going through a breakup is harder than waking up happy. Satan's going through a breakup? With God? Yeah. But also with the lie that life means anything. That shit happened like a hundred millennia ago, and it's still in his hand. Uh, wait, hold up. Satan's still not over getting evicted from heaven? Didn't that happen like when light was being invented? 
Yeah, Satan's like an elephant, all right. He's got a big prick and a long memory. He's Lucifer looking these days, anyway. He's still up on Welkin Way? Oh, yeah. Big place. Makes Xanadu look like a bouncy castle. And man, this drink is a trip. I finally see how boring soup kitchens are now. Uh, all of us. The original monarchs. We all used to live up there. I don't know if you know, Satan and me, yeah, we're still buddies. But the others, eh, yeah, even Bed Bath & Beyond coupons don't. Don't let anyone tell you that they don't. I don't mean to pry, but what happened? Well, mostly he just got sick of his moaning about how he lost the war. He loved God, and then he loved himself. And then he loved the idea of beating God. It's the same trust falls in marriage. Any partnership, romantic or otherwise, just ends with you dying of something boring like heart disease, counting the minutes you spent doing things you hated because they wanted to watch Dr. Fucking Quinn. Is that show still on? I don't even know what that is. All right, bro, let's drink. Tonight? Just a few. Don't do the carbon monoxide poisoning. Not quite over it yet. Okay, uh, Al? Can we just get your signature on this? Uh... And you know another thing about Satan? He really... He was my life raft when my wife Beth left me. He took me out, wouldn't let me get too down. It was a huge help. Oh, whoa, that shot's wearing off. I feel like I just walked off a plane from Cancun and realized I live in Cleveland. Here, you can have my drink. Hey, party demons! We have a very special death day tonight. Rug Boulder eaten by a dinosaur 30 million years ago. Swag. And yes, people, dinosaurs did exist with humans. Don't believe everything scientists tell you. Asmodeus, uh, about, about that seal? Yeah, my witch doctor slash therapist thinks I'm just burying my pain at Beth leaving by partying all the time. And I'm just perpetuating an endless cycle of self-destruction, ignoring my real trauma. But she still wears Robinson's mate. So what does she know? Let's have a drink, Milo. Come on. For Grog, Lola did Hotel Hell. How about you try my own personal cocktail? The unapologetic. Good for what ails you. Um, maybe? Uh, yes. Well, I mean, I, I did mine, and it didn't turn out so bad. Yeah, that uh, makes enough sense. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Our lost boy's gonna do it. That's what I like to see. I want to be Milo and trip TF out, dude. Bottoms up. Milo, are you, uh, okay? Oh, hell yeah. What the fuck shit happened? What a strange occurrence. Milo and Lola meet Milo's conscience. Milo's conscience meet Milo and Lola. Charmed. Yeah. This ugly fucking loser is my conscience? Oh, cool, bro. Your super ego has legs and a face and all the other requisite parts. A conscience. It's just what happens to your ego if it watches too many kids' shows with puppets. It's, it's radiation growing tumors. We've just made Milo healthy again without restraint or fear or societal hang ups. Like putting the seat down just because your wife can't find the light switch at night. What is happy? Get a drink and find out, you little scamp. How can one be happy if others suffer? Instinct pursues procreation, which yet brings more suffering. Hey, sailor. You look like you blew in on a stiff breeze. Wanna buy me a drink? I listened to some guy pitch me a timeshare and got his VIP seats. As long as you are, are comfortable with the proffer, I, I think I would very much enjoy that, yes. Wait, this little fucking nerd gets picked up like that? I've tried standing around before, it doesn't work. Wormhorn, you got to come back with that thing. Shouldn't we, isn't this something we should fix? Isn't it a little scary that my best friend's moral compass is gonna go get blown in the bathroom by our personal demon? All right, kiddos, there's a dance competition that needs tending to downstairs. Wait, what? What about us having a drinking contest for the seal? Hey, I'm a busy party demon. You're fortunate to have stolen five minutes of party time. But look, I'll tell you what. How about instead, you enter the dance-off? If you win, I'll give you my seal. It's more fun than drinking. That's what Satan doesn't know. Dancing doesn't scare away your friends. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, please. 
This guy's just stringing us along, using us as temporary friends. So he doesn't have to wallow in the sadness of divorced, middle-aged, single loser life. Hey, you say tomato, I say... Well, actually, I say tomato, too. Nobody really says tomato. Hell yeah, let's go I have a motherfucking dance-off. It's obvious he's covering old wounds. He's like me after Pilates. If we can, if we can get them back together, he'll surely give us the... <laughs> Fuck that, and fuck him, and fuck her, and fuck you, Lola. If you think I'm gonna help some fat demon get laid tonight, let's just beat his ass in a dancing competition. Make him surrender the damn seal with our fucking puma legs. What the hell are you talking about? I don't wanna help others. I had the hardest time getting girls on Earth. Okay, fine, American psycho. We'll do the damn dance off. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, motherfucker. That's... Red poking the beehive, man. This is brilliant. This is not good. God, Lola, you should get a shot of this. Seriously, it's it'll really melt all your stupid insecurities into the fucking toilet. I'm not doing it. One of us needs to worry about the stains on their pants. The hell with stains. I'm talking about trying to. Humans are bungled and botched hordes, Lola. I'm really seeing that now. The trivial majority that that plague superior men with. Like that chick in that play. Why did I want to date that girl? It's a, it's a slave morality. Lashing yourself to this idea of romantic ideals. Oh my lord, will you shut the hell up? You sound like my guidance counselor after his four o'clock coffee. I'm just saying, you're half yourself when you're with somebody. It's just, that's just math. You know, Beth left Asmodeus, freaking loser, for her job. That's what you gotta do. Make something other than dumb memories or idiot children. Marriage with kids is just future alimony and burning a 70-year-old's life's worth of natural resources. It's downright immoral. Abstinence and selfishness. That, that leads to success. Milo, I might agree with this pessimistic worldview. God knows I love a downer conversation. But when you say it so forcefully, it's a pretty big turnoff. Well, sometimes the truth needs to be spoken with effort. Oh, what evil bureaucrat said that, huh? Judge Doom? Let's, uh, drink, because I'm getting bored. I need bored. something that'll make women overlook the fact that I'm both hideous and just generally uninformed. Eh, this'll have Marianne Cotton chasing you up a tree. Good enough for me. Want to reload? <laughs> Ooh, that little. The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us. But he's got another thing coming. I can see straight down on that asshole's head from here. Great. How does that help us? Hell yeah. I'm a living symbol of triumph! Milo, what ah! the fuck are you- Cheese and rice, are you kidding me? You really shattered your pelvis just to get your dull-faced insecurities back? That was really unsafe, Milo. You know what? Ow! That really fucking hurt! Fine, fine. I'm not gonna embarrass you, Milo. I'm not going to drag this little mistake of evolution into the sewers with me and turn him into a real man. Even though I could, I'm just gonna give you this one. You know why I'm giving you this one? Because things. Ah, bitch. Yeah! <laughs> that was fun as shit. Good idea, mate. I don't know why nobody thought to do that before. Permission to come aboard. I guess, whatever. It's gonna make me lose the dancing what? competition, are you, though. Are you alright? Well, it was fun while it lasted, thinking I was awesome. You are awesome, my love. You don't need to be uninhibited by all social laws to feel it, okay? Hell yeah. Yes. I guess it's time. Wish I could get a few minutes to just, like, lie down for a second. I was really passionate about love being a total crock, huh? Yeah, whatever. We can psychoanalyze your spirit quest later. You gotta dance your face off right now. I will be there, not dancing. Wanna be clear about that, but very much cheering you on. All right, let's let's do it. Wonder if this is gonna be like Dance Dance Revolution. I'm here to check in for the uh, the dance competition. You seem a little different. Not that I'm complaining. Believe me. Who's he up against? Asmodeus. Who else? Ready when you are, kid. Ugh, whatever. You can take him, Milo. Y you got your mojo back. Think of Stella and her myriad grooves. Just please proceed to the dance floor when ready. I'm ready, baby. Hey, yo! We got, I said we got some 
gladiators in the ring, y'all. Are you guys ready for the, the, the nightly skull dance competition? Yeah. In this corner, we got a little known angel of mercy we like to call Asmodeus. Save me some chili cheese fries, okay? And in that corner, we got a sack of potato skins his mama liked to call Sang Bong. Hey, hope I hope I win this uh, this thing. Light seeking light doth light of light beguile. You know what that means? It means you can't learn anything in books. You gotta live life. Really live it. Live it till you leave death nothing but a corpse. So I hope you do okay here tonight. I really do. Because I think you got a lot left in the tank. Shut up and dance like you've never danced before, demon. Because believe me, you're gonna need to. Yeah. Okay, All gentlemen right. dancers, this is how it works. You, Milo, copy Asmodeus's moves as best you can. All right, gentlemen, start your screwing. I mean dancing, shit. I forgot which contest I was at for a second. So how do I do this? All right. This move I call the very rich hours of the Duke of Berry. This isn't too bad yet. This move I called Ixium precipitated in the underworld. I got this shit, I got it. Hmm. Hey, you better than you think. Okay, slow down, kid. For Asmodeus! Yeah, good one, guy. Yeah, yeah. Turn, I got Milo. it. Uh, yeah, you're, you're uh, doing well. Try not to break anything. Watch and study and maybe learn a little, kid. Good job. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed if you can't keep up. I got the shit. I got it. I got it. I make it look pretty easy, right? I make it look easier, Nothing though. 400 years of dance lessons can't teach. Hey, you're better than you think. Copy that if you can. Okay, slow down, kid. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, one, yeah, guy. yeah. And the winner is Milo. Swag. Milo, holy shit! Right? I know. Wow, that was. That was something. Great dancing, kid. One in a million. I'm really impressed. I, I, I gotta say, you, you really, you, you really hit those beats correctly and affirmatively. Hey, you did well too, Al. You just didn't know what he was up against. A guy that scrapped his pants three non-consecutive times at the public pool. Yes, sir, Bob. So, how about it? Yeah, you did good out there, kid. You earned it. Here's my official seal of approval. Text me if you ever want to hang out. Yeah, no, never. <laughs> but thanks. All right, let's go back to Satan's house. All right, guys. I am unsure if the next video will be the last video on this series. It definitely seems like things are starting to wrap up. Um, 
but I guess we will find out in the next one. So, please let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. If you have been enjoying this series or just this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you show your love and support for it by subscribing. I would definitely appreciate that, and it really does help out quite a bit. Now, subscriber or not, just know that I love y'all. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. So until then, peace out.